champing at the bit tonight on the bench, Wayne Rooney, ahead of Manchester United and Bolton. Remember, highlights later of Tottenham against Chelsea. If you're a Sky Digital viewer and wish to enjoy the interactive facility, push the red button on the remote control and follow your way to that page. Commentators at Old Trafford, Andy Gray and Alan Parry. Well, Cristiano Ronaldo is on the verge of matching a United legend. If he scores tonight, Ronaldo will equal the total of 32 goals in the season, scored by the one and only George Best some 40 years ago. An incredible achievement for a player whose official position is midfield. A lot of talk in the build-up to this game about the physical style of Bolton's Kevin Davis. The statistics confirm that Davis has committed more fouls than any other player in the Premier League this season. But he's also had more fouls against him than most. So it was Ronaldo's goal at Derby that took United to the top of the Barclays Premier League on goal difference. This is their game in hand on Arsenal and the chance, of course, to move three points clear of them. Bolton, they need a win to climb out of the relegation places. They're currently two points behind Sunderland. How much will Bolton have been encouraged by this much changed Manchester United lineup? All experienced players, of course, all with a lot of Premier League games under their belt. But this is an 11 that I think has never been fielded before by Sir Alex. The front two, for instance, of Sahar and Tevez have only started before on three occasions. Fletcher. Yeah, whatever way you look at it, it's still a pretty powerful side. It's obviously a side that Sir Alec believes is good enough to beat Bolton here at Old Trafford. And it does give him the option of leaving Giggs, leaving Scholes, leaving Rooney. Not taking a chance on Ferdinand before the weekend. And that huge game, of course, against the old enemy Liverpool on the same day that Chelsea and Arsenal meet at Stamford Bridge. What a defining Sunday that could be. Here's McCann for Bolton. Swanson just behind him, but Fletcher winning it back for United. Sahar just got a touch on there, but also committed the foul. You know, it's, in, it's interesting to hear Ray Wilkins before just say about Bolton. You know, I'd like to see teams like this come here. What's the point in shutting up shop? In a game where you don't really expect anything, why not just come, maybe surprise United and, and have a little go? Without being, I'm not talking about being reckless, I'm talking about half 3 2, 3 v 2 at the back, or 4 v 3. But don't be shy with the ball and going forward. Well, they have lost each of the last uh, four league games, Bolton. Six without a win in all competitions for Gary Megson's side. Out of the UEFA Cup, of course, in Lisbon last week, and now in the bottom three of the Premier League. You talk about wins and goals. I mean, Kevin Davis here just blocking that with three goals, and El Hadjouf with two are the only Premier League goal scorers in this Bolton side. Quite extraordinary. Fletcher under a bit of pressure here from Guthrie. And there's Taylor to his left. And Juf ahead of him. That's not a good ball. It's a little sloppy. And it just looks like they've started with Juf right up top. And Kevin Davis playing on this right hand side. Up against John O'Shea. We'll see if that remains the case. Yes, I dare say that Gary Megson might have had to alter his plan slightly when he got the uh, Manchester United team sheet. It's not a side he would have been expecting. Well, maybe it's another little example of how early on defensive is important, but there's no doubt Kevin Davis would defend better than El Hadj in that opinion. Here's Luis Sahar. Fletcher available again. Margrees has played in that right-back role. In fact, I think he's played there for England, yeah, he and he certainly did for Bayern Munich. Well, he'll cope with that easy enough. Tevez winning the throw off Steinson, one of the uh, newcomers in the Bolton lineup. An Icelandic international they signed in January. There's PK who hasn't started in the Premier League since the defeat at the Reebok Stadium against Bolton back in November. And he didn't have the best of days either in that game.
Vidic, one of the familiar members of the back four anyway. Ferdinand is out injured and not even in the 16 tonight. But don't be surprised to see him on Sunday. Here's O'Shea. Yeah, you can see that already Bolton are happy when they lose the ball to concede ground. <laughs> Alan Riley just going to ground to referee. It's a lovely ball for Nani. Could have been dangerous, hard and low into the six-yard box. I'd just like to have seen him play that under his left foot. I think just playing it in with his right obviously prefers it. He should have just got it out of his feet. Just been picking somebody out with that left foot. That was a nice piece of football. But they're happy to let United have it here. I think that'll be policy for the evening. Get the five midfield players back in front of the back four. PK feeds it in to Ronaldo, playing in a genuinely wide role tonight. Vidic. United will have to be patient against this five-man midfield. But it's a formation they've faced many times before here at Old Trafford. Lovely turn by Tevez. Anderson. Fletcher. Easy interception for Gardner. They've just been a little reckless, well, reckless isn't the word, sloppy with the passing. Bolton, when they've had the ball, giving it away under no pressure whatsoever. That you don't want to do. And you don't want this fella on the edge of your box either. This time Ronaldo couldn't forget a teammate. And Leite whips it off the toe of Luis Sahar. I think it's a big night for Luis Sahar. So Alex Ferguson talked beforehand about he needs a game, he certainly does. And it, they run into the season with some massive games coming up for them. And fit Sahar. I think would be a massive boost because with all the talent they've got he does give them something different as a front man Steinson lost the ball and then went in too hard in his attempt to win it back that just gets away from him I think it's an honest attempt but just the old scissors tackle there just his eighth appearance this he was signed from the uh, Dutch club AZ Alkmaar Ronaldo. Got the white shirts between him and the Bolton goal, and he's given it away. McCann. Davis. A much a deeper role at the moment than we expected him to be. Vidic intercepts. Poor ball in the end. The United defender. Manchester United on 67 points, remember, the same as Arsenal. And Chelsea, of course, will also go on to 67 points if they beat Tottenham tonight. Things really hotting up at the top. Yeah. This team's home record here is pretty impressive. Apart from the opening two home games of the season, when they drew and lost them. They've won every single one since. And Tevez with a chance to give them the lead here. And Gardner got back brilliantly. Well, I think when he chests this, he tries to put it in as it drops, but he, he can't get there. And he has to wait for it to come back down again. Just as he takes on his chest, tries to go there, and he doesn't reach it. And because he doesn't reach it, just off his chest here, it just gets away from him a bit. And good cover by Ricardo Gardner. United's first corner, eight minutes gone. Ronaldo got his head to it, and it comes back to him. Oh, what a finish! Side, the great George Best in United's Hall of Fame. And what a difference it makes to get the breakthrough so early. It somehow found its way past everyone. I think he'd rather hit this into the ground. It's not what you would call the sweetest Cristiano Ronaldo strike. But he gets involved with the header and they don't get rid of it and he just hits it into the ground. You watch where it ends up here. It's just, he probably gets it straight, can't get this in. Look at the bodies. But into the ground it goes, and it bounces past Al Habzi and into the net. It's a perfect start for Alec Ferguson's side.
22 goals in 37 games. An astonishing record for an astonishing footballer. Steinson's cross caused a problem at the other end, straight away for Vidic. And Hargreaves has had to concede the corner. Well, by his own standards, apart from up till Saturday, probably a little dip, Cristiano Ronaldo. With a winning goal at Derby, the opening goal tonight as captain. There he is, he even dicked directing things now. And the referee saw an infringement in there, I think, from Maytag. Well, where do you go, Jim Bolton? You've got two players on the pitch that have scored a goal in the Premier League, and you go one down in nine minutes. And the main man's at it again. He actually wins this header. Up he goes well, keeps the ball in. Tevez does all right here, but it's a scruffy goal, but he doesn't care. As I've said, if he, if he probably hits that sweetly, he probably hits someone. But he hits it into the ground. The bounce takes it past Al Habzi. Well, if he carries on like this, he's in danger of uh, matching Ruud van Nistelrooy's record for Manchester United. That was about five years ago now. He scored 44 in the season. Yeah, how many in the league, though? See, I've tested you there, haven't I? You have? Yeah, I see, have that test. I like Premier League stats. He's got, what has he got now, 23 in the Premier League? That's correct. Unbelievable. Sensational. And he's only started 24 games. What happened in the other one? Yeah. <laughs> he had an off day. <laughs> and Nisseroy did score a lot in Europe that season, I remember. So, yeah, but goals are goals. Now, that's a race in itself, isn't it? The Premier League top goal scorer now that... The main man at Liverpool is, you know, in that fantastic run. He's got himself in there, along with Adebayor. That's a good ball in, and it had uh, Kuzchak in a moment's uh, concern. Oh, look at the pace of Ronaldo there. On by Davis to Juve. I guess we're bolting, you're thinking, OK... It's not the strongest Manchester United side, and maybe defensively it's not. So, try and get the ball up there, try and play some of the game up there. At the moment, they've been unable to do that. Ronaldo's goal was Manchester United's 60th this season in the Premier League. They also, of course, have the best defensive record as well. I was just looking there about how many teams from the bottom half have scored here this season. I think only Middlesbrough and Derby. I've gotten goals here, but they both got thumped 4 1, mind you. Yes, it's uphill all the way now for Bolton Wanderers. Away by O'Brien. Anderson under the loose ball for United. Here's Hargreaves. Vidic. Vidic tries to open up the play with a sweeping ball out to Ronaldo. It's just the distance of the pass that gave Gardner a chance to get there. United can go into, even this early, can go into cruise control. Can be patient if they want to be now, not get too frustrated. They've gotten the goal, they've got the lead. Yes, Steinson for Bolton. They've only won half a dozen league games all season. Well, of course, ironically, one of those was against United. We do have a very poor record as well against teams from the uh, top half of the Premier League, and uh, next up for them, three more of the leading teams. They've got Manchester City and Arsenal at the Reebok and Aston Villa away. Kind of a daunting set of mm. fixtures to complete their season. Doesn't get any easier, does it? Survival football, the plane, Gary makes it safe. I just think football it is, it is a strange game and it isn't as predictable as we all think it might be. And the important thing for Bolton right now is to, is to hang in there, is not to concede another. 
because I never, I don't care what you're like, where you are in the league. I just believe you always get a chance in a football match, even here at Old Trafford. And if you're only one down and you take it, you just don't know. McCann knocks it long for Juve, away by Vidic to O'Shea. Margraves with plenty of time to let the ball roll across his body. Mate's header has dropped kindly to Sahar. Nani. Oh, it was a good effort. Well, he wandered across him almost two or three times. He wanted to take the shot on, but it wasn't just right for him. Decent break, this again. Goes in there, thinks about it, no. Thinks again, no. And eventually, little gaps there for him. Never really threatening the goal. A very comfortable opening quarter of an hour for Manchester United, who've won 21 of their 29 league games to date. Just four defeats, the most recent here last month against Manchester City, who, of course, uh, also beat them at Eastlands. Davis a likely target here for O'Brien's free kick. O'Shea watching him closely, and Vidic right in front of him as well. Gardner, O'Brien. Goalkeepers. Gardner intercepts, and now Mate for Bolton. Got three. Brian's giving it away, Gardner there to win it back though. Juve. Here's Fletcher. Steinson's header, and uh, Juve misjudged the bounce. Chris Jack, who couldn't have expected to play tonight after that marvellous performance by Ben Foster on his debut at Derby. Yeah, I think it was a little surprise to most people who arrived here. Well, they'll have a reason for it, the manager, you know that. Costa perhaps lined up for the Liverpool game here on Sunday, who knows? I think Ronaldo might get a shirt. <laughs> Tevez let it run. Steinson was grateful. Had to run without the shout. Well, Hadj Juve. To Guthrie. Did well to make the cross, Davis! What a good save. Well, I told you, even at Old Trafford, you get a chance. And as long as you're only 1 0. That was a fantastic move by Bolton. That was a move of the match, without a doubt. Super football. And Kevin Davis starts away on the right hand side and watch him just go diagonally from right hand side right across the penalty area. It's a difficult, difficult chance, and he does really well to control this on the stretch, on his weaker side. And I'll tell you what, the goalkeeper does well to go from one post to the other, travelling across his goal line to get there. And ironically, it was uh, Gary Megson that brought Thomas Kuschak into English football when he was manager of West Bromwich Albion. He signed him from the uh, German League. Fletcher. Brought down by Mete, and he might well fancy taking the free kick. Well, he will, it's right in his range. It's right where he likes him. Far enough outside the area to get the power. Yeah, can't argue with that one. Well, I'll have see his first job almost here at Old Trafford on his first appearance at the Theatre of Dreams was to pick the ball out of the back of his net. He hasn't had much to do since that goal. Let's see what he has to do now. Ronaldo backs away. Usually requires an early sighter before he hits the target. 
Let's see. Didn't this time. Magnificent! Is there any end to this boy's talents? And now he's gone ahead of George Best. Well, when he gets them right, he gets them right. And they're just about unstoppable. And the ball's just doing all sorts. Up and over again. And look at it move and dip and bend. Just watch the ball here. Look at that. It's just incredible the trajectory he gets on the ball. Less than 20 minutes gone, and Cristiano Ronaldo wearing the captain's armband for United tonight is on a hat trick. Yeah, it's one of those daft things Gary Megson will have said to his centre backs. Whatever you do, lads, don't be giving cheap free kicks away just outside the penalty area. They did, and they paid the penalty. Tevez gives it back to Davis. And Bolton have got to dig in now, or they'll already be a beaten team even at this early stage. Saha. Right there, O'Brien, but only as far as Tevez. Hargreaves. Ronaldo already running down the right touchline. Now Fletcher finds it. Oh, lovely little flick. Hargreaves hemmed into that corner. And the uh, crowd goes up with a goal kick. Now, 24 Premier League starts, 24 Premier League goals. It's an amazing start. It's been another amazing season so far. Well, I do think even the great George would have loved to have watched this kid play at this kind of level. They're giving him a tingle, I think. There have been so many fantastic players down here over the years. So Bobby Charlton, of course, still very much involved on the administrative side of the club. Dennis Law, still a regular here. Paddy Creran, just along the TV gantry from us, working for Manchester United's own TV station. But they will all, I'm sure, agree that Ronaldo deserves to be mentioned in the same breath as any of those greats. Guthrie, McCann. Sahar. That's a lovely ball for Tevez. Just in front of Nani, unlucky. Now oh, they've switched to 4 4 2 now. Looks like uh, Kevin Davis and Juf will play up front. Guthrie's come down below us on this right hand side. So we'll see if that changes anything in the game. Might just make it a little easier for Manchester United to pick them apart. And uh, apologies for depressing any. Bolton Wanderers fans <laughs> watching further, but Manchester United have only let in five goals yeah. at Old Trafford this season. It's the lowest total in all four divisions. Yeah, that's a fabulous record. There's a Reading in City, the only two who said to have been away from here with anything. Yeah, that's correct. Just four drop points in the whole season at home. And well on the way to another three points already here. McCann. But it's uh, not in the mood to take any risks. McCann again, Juf. Oh, his boot was raised high. Oh, he's a little unlucky. I like the fact that Piquet stuck his head in there. Makes the decision an easy one. You see how close he has to Piquet's head, so... Got to be given.
PK for Manchester United. Given away to Gardner. Mate. Now McCann. Steinson. Davis the target here. That's half a chance, you know. He was for Taylor. He did it straight into the ground, though. You know, not his strongest, so I said he's right. That was evident. Ronaldo there again for Manchester United and fouled again. Referee this time waves play on. And Kevin McCann was not happy with him. Kind of indicate that he was diving all over the place here. Fans even more. It's now Bolton who get a free kick. No, Alan Wiley just ran a quick word with Ronaldo, I guess, but he wasn't looking for Fergie, he jumped out of the way, I think, with the tackle. Who is for El Hadj Juf, the Liverpool connection no there, and also his uh, reputation goes before him. He hasn't scored a goal in the Premier League for almost three months now, Juf. And if ever there was an eye bolt and needed him to end that record, this is it. O'Brien. Davis awaits the cross, but uh, have to keep waiting. Gardner. Taylor. Davis leaves it to Steinson. A rather wild Swap effort. It. Swap it. Well, he's certainly building up a collection of these, isn't he? Just amazing. So deliberate. Knows what he's, everyone knows what he's going to do. He's going to smash the back of this ball in a unique way, the way he gets it up and, and down at such pace. Seen that a few times, haven't he? Well, even the country's finest wordsmiths are running out of superlative now to describe Cristiano Ronaldo who made his uh, debut by the way against Bolton five years ago now not that well known in this country when he uh, was snapped up by Sir Alex story goes that he played so well in a pre-season friendly all the United players went to their manager and said you've got to sign this kid and he listened and he did Taylor looking for Juve near post out to Guthrie. Tevez. Oh, a decent bit of pressure there. And Mite has let it slide through. Quick enough to recover. Well, he made changes, obviously, with... He admitted to Jeff Shrees with the weekend in mind. wonder how long he keeps... Well, arguably his best player on the pitch. At 2-0 up. He's fairly comfortable. He won't want to go off, that's for sure. No, he won't, but, you know, the risk of injury is always there. Yep. And 2 now, up, maybe if I get another, he might make a decision at half-time. All right, Cristiano, you've had 45, got yourself a couple of goals, mate, so... Let's just uh, take a little rest for the weekend. I'm sure it's a thought that will cross his mind. Clattering challenge there, Gardner on Fletcher. Well, we've already mentioned the big games on Sunday that are live on Sky, but uh, there's a big match too at White Hart Lane, Tottenham against Portsmouth, 12.30, Sky Sports 1, and in high definition. Vidic. Away by Gardner to McCann. It's a good challenge by Davis, and an equally good one on him. Here's Guthrie. Juf takes over. Oh, he's got to be stronger than that against Nani. Anderson caught in possession by Guthrie. Nani wasn't going to let that go. He really had the bit between his teeth then. Well, as you'd expect, it's actually a better game. More open now. Now they've changed and put two up top. 
Got through his cross. Too deep this time. But the more open the game, you would expect the better footballers to shine. Bolton will be fearful of another hammering here. They've conceded a, a lot of goals on their last four visits to Old Trafford, lost each time. Well, and they're not up against a team, Bolton, sadly for them, that gets content at two. And there's a lot of teams I've known through the years that get 2-0 up, and they're quite happy to keep it at that, no matter how long there is to go. But in Manchester United, you always feel that they're going looking for goals. And that could be particularly important in a season which uh, everyone agrees is likely to see a very tight finish. They're now uh, ten goals superior in the goal difference column to Arsenal. Juf. Steinson making ground down the right and wants the ball. Two in the box here for Bolton, but he dragged it in behind to Fletcher. And, uh, Guthrie and Taylor were both there, but he split them with that ball right in between them. And off he goes again, Ronaldo. Gardner just that little bit quicker than Owen Hargreaves. Which took Hargreaves a little by surprise. Wasn't expecting the ball, he was a little on his heels. Sahar hasn't really got going yet, Louis Sahar. It's just short of games, are, in all honesty. It's only his sixth Premier League start this season. Bits and pieces as a sub. But not nearly enough, but as I've said, if he can keep fit from now to the end, that would be a major boost for Manchester United. Yes, they'll need everyone available with the eight games left after tonight. Four of them here against Liverpool, Aston Villa, Arsenal and West Ham, four away, Middlesbrough, Blackburn, Chelsea and Wigan. Mm, not easy, but then again, winning a title never is. It's going to be so loud. <laughs> United and Arsenal have been uh, swapping over the leadership of the Barclays Premier League between them this season. No one has ever had more than a five-point gap at the top. He's not had a lot Thomas Kuzak to do, but he made one very, very important save at 1-0. Gardner. Fletcher forward to Ronaldo. What's a buzz of anticipation around this great arena when the ball is at Ronaldo's feet. Here's O'Shea. Oh, great return ball again. Here's Tevez, pulled across the box for Sahar and a corner. Well, for a neutral, that would have been a fantastic goal. Super piece of little giving goals there, two or three of them. Finish with the header. And Guthrie in the right place to clear. Well, if John O'Shea had kept his run going, he could have just nodded that in. This is the first of three successive home games for Manchester United, who uh, haven't played at Old Trafford for over a month before tonight's match. Davis up against Vidic as Bolton try and get back in the picture before half time. Well, it is more about Bolton since the change and since they went two down, but you would expect that. Came out with a game plan to frustrate and defend, make life difficult. That lasted all of eight and a half minutes. And here's the man who undid them. Now Tevez. Oh, wonderful close control by Carlos Tevez. Well, he might have fed Ronaldo. He might have been looking for his skipper edge of the box, but he didn't. Only one thing in his mind was taking people on and looking to score himself.
Yeah, lots of possession, but in the 35 minutes, only the five attempts from United. Tadesso on another meandering run. Nani. And again. Well, this was a chance. Getting a little bit of space now between the midfield and the back four. I just thought when that comes here, they might have just opened them up, self up and hit that first time. But they gave the defender a chance for the block in the first and you know, the second one he didn't have the gap. Now there by Vidic on Davis. to see where Davis wants the ball played and it went in to the area he indicated I'm not surprised that he got something on it either yeah. it's that kind of ball into that kind of area that produced a winner for Anelka at the Reebok United didn't deal with it that time yeah you mentioned Anelka and despite having uh, gone for some time now he is still Bolton's leading scorer this season on 11 goals Mate swings it in towards Davis. And again, a real physical battle between him and Vidic. Dink it in, was the message. That seemed a bit harsh against Sahar. He's given handball, would you believe? He can. Taylor, the former Pompey player. Davis. Gardner. Brian's flick on, can Juve get there? No, Vidic in quickly and bravely. McCann wins it back for Bolton. O'Brien. Here's Guthrie. And Davis won the header. Andy O'Brien defending well at the other end. Well, they had to, they've just been caught, you know, 3v2. I mean, it's taken a chance and been ridiculous. And could still get caught here as Tevez goes round Joey O'Brien with ease. Not that time, though. I don't think he should realised O'Brien was back at him. I think that was a thing for Tevez. Yet again, he was very single-minded. There was no thought of looking for Saha or Ronaldo. It was all about him taking him on. McCann. Gardner. Steinson's made a run down the centre. It's gone to Guthrie instead. Now Davis. Guthrie leaves it to Taylor. Now McCann. They only had Davis in the box. Manchester United had four defenders in there. The more they commit, and they have to, the more you feel they'll get caught at the other end, Bolton. And Gary Mason's team only had 25 points last season. Sheffield United went down with 38 points. So that suggests they might need another three or four wins to uh, stay in the Premier League. This is their seventh successive season at this level. And indeed, they finished in the top half of each of the last four campaigns. It was high as six only three years ago. As Davis lines up the shot. Now, from a long time, almost from the moment he won it, he looked like he was going to take the shot on. PK just stood his ground. No cut spin on it, goes wide. by O'Shea to Nani. Sahar against O'Brien.
And he's still got his cross in. Tevez. And goes long, and it's not a bad ball, but offside. Yeah, no. That hurt. Taylor still crumpled on the ground as he collided with Kuzjak. Well, goalkeeper wasn't stopping here. Just goes a little early. Matty Taylor. Goalkeeper in no man's land. He did score a couple of goals against Manchester United in his days with Portsmouth. Still waiting for his first Bolton goal. He actually missed the penalty as well uh, recently against Reading. Juve. And he's taking it off Fletcher. Giving it to O'Shea. They've well, just been a little wasteful at times when they've had the ball ball. Looked as though Davis was fouled there, but Mr. Wiley not interested. Fletcher. Ronaldo finding space in the centre. Sahar gets it back to him, but he was then fouled, and the referee saw that. Andy O'Brien. First portion of the game. That's a little late. Meeting. Is it going to take it on, do you think? Well, in the hot streak no. he's in at the moment. <laughs> no. Even too far for the master himself. Here's Tevez. Off guard now. Uh, shouting handball behind that goal, but a corner is, I think, the correct verdict. Yeah. Lens was over that side as well. He pointed straight to the, the corner. I guess kind of makes him be a little disappointed that his team have conceded a. A goal from a badly defended corner from this side and a stunning free kick. It's two set plays. Vidic hey! threw himself at that, but uh, Bolton have survived. Two minutes of the half remaining. He's enjoying that battle, Vidic against Davis. And then Sahar fouls Guthrie. Juve. Here's O'Brien. Gardner. Well, they've got to keep believing Bolton. And they're only one goal away from uh, making a game of it, as far as the scoreline is concerned, anyway. United one away from being out of sight, I guess. Yep. O'Shea. Fletcher helps it on to Owen Hargreaves. Not quite what he was looking for. O'Brien. Steinson. <laughs> Brilliant. Davis gets into the penalty area. 
That's what it's been like from Bolton. Certainly since they changed the two up top, they've nibbled away at Manchester United a little. They just feel that like United, even with a, well, dare I say, a slightly weakened side, have got gears to go to if they need them. And the likes of Rooney and Skulls on the bench as we approach the end of the first 45 minutes. Just the one minute. Here's Nani. Sahar ahead of him. And he's picked him out. And Bolton still can't get it clear. Fletcher drives it back in. Great heroic block by Steinson. And still United threaten. And here's Ronaldo. Oh, brilliantly done for O'Shea. That's what I mean. The gears are there if they want them United at any time, you feel. This was pretty desperate defending at times, and this just the end of that. Two or three chances. Another little bit of skill from Ronaldo there. John O'Shea looking for the window goal. Not quite. Well, is there a finer player in world football at this moment than Cristiano Ronaldo? If it is, I'd love to see him. Kaká and the rest will have a claim to that title. But this is a player in supreme form, and his goals after 9 and 20 minutes have given Manchester United a 2-0 lead here against Bolton at Old Trafford. He is phenomenal, is he not? Uh, and Bolton in danger here of this being anything. Uh, Ray Wilkins and Jamie Redknapp are with us. Manchester United are two up. Ronaldo has got two more. Chelsea leading as well. It's not a good night for Arsenal, this. What a weekend of football we've got coming up as well. Friday night, it's Charlton against West Brom from 4.30. Saturday, from the Premier League, Spurs play Portsmouth at 12.30 on Sky Sports 1. And it's Leeds, two points outside the playoff places, against Walsall, who are sixth at the moment. That's at quarter past five, again on Sky Sports 1. And Sunday, well, if they were jousting last time, everybody will be looking to win this weekend. Manchester United play Liverpool at one o'clock, Sky Sports 1. It's Chelsea against Arsenal at half past three, again on one. Again, also available in high definition on channel 408. What a lineup. Uh, both teams, of course, uh, Manchester United and Chelsea playing this evening. Both are leading at the moment. We'll have highlights from White Hart Lane after we've watched Manchester United. What do they do now, United? Call it a day here? Settle for the two or push on? I'm sure they'll keep probing, they'll keep playing. It reminds me of the game of about four or five weeks ago, actually, when they played Portsmouth at home. Went 2 0 up very early and it was destroying them. They started to take their foot off the pedal. So Alex Ferguson will know that he's got resources on the bench. If he can bring off Ronaldo in the next five, ten minutes, or even at half time, he might even bring him off now. <coughs> he's got to, Rooney's going to want to get on this pitch. He wants to play every single game. Evra might be coming on. I mean, he can make changes. He's got lovely options now, hasn't he, Ray? He can bring. He can do whatever he pleases. I think they'll actually go for Bolton in the second half. I really do. You know, they've got a great goal, goal difference advantage. Um, but the, these young men are playing with such confidence, Richard, that they'll just want the ball all the time. They want to score more goals, and I, I think we'll see a few more goals in the second half. Ronaldo, he, he won his hat-trick as well, won't he? he? Yeah, and he yeah. won't want to be bought off either, Ronaldo. You can see when the young man plays that he just wants to play football. And I think that it's, it's a lovely quality that he's got. But I think Sir Alex will bring him off at some stage. On eight there he is. different occasions already this season, he scored two. Looking for that hat trick. If you're Bolton, just very quickly, if you're Bolton now, what, what on earth do you do about this? Well, yeah, as silly as it sounds, it might sound completely defeatist, but you'd settle for 2 0. You would absolutely, I'm, I'm sure Gary Megs and I would think 2 0, we'll get out of here, we go again on Saturday. Because at the moment, this, has got, this, could be, this is version of 4 or yeah. 5, and then that will completely dent your confidence. If you can get out of here with a 2 0, create some chances, then I'm sure we'd be quite pleased with that at the, as it stands at the moment. Spurs and Chelsea later, remember. Right now it's back to Old Trafford with Andy Gray and Alan Parry. Thanks, Richard. Welcome back. Strange thing for Bolton is that uh, this time last season they were actually fifth in the Premier League table. They had 22 points more than they got at the moment. A familiar position, of course, 
for Sir Alex. And by the way, if Manchester United do go on to retain their title, it'll be their 17th championship in all. They'd then be just one behind Liverpool's all-time English record. Are you telling me Sir Alex would retire with that landmark inside? <laughs> I don't think so. No, he might give it another year. Though. I think he might. <laughs> I see Nicky Hunt, I don't know if he's coming on down below is Nicky Hunt. Looks like there's going to be a substitute, Al. Yeah, Nicky Hunt, who uh, has lost his place in recent weeks to no, It looks Steinson. like Matey's going off, and uh, I guess that'll mean Steinson will come inside. He can't play centre-back, so he'll probably move infield, play alongside Andy O'Brien and Hunt go to his normal right-back position. It's Hunt's first game in the Premier League since Boxing Day. And he has gone to his familiar position at right back. Steinson, as expected, moving into the centre, where the Icelandic international has played quite a few times in his career. Well, how much belief do Bolton Wanderers have? That has to be the question at the start of the second half. And straight away, they've sloppily given the ball back to United. They've won only one away game all season, Bolton. 2-0 at Reading last month. Ten defeats out of 14 on the road. And they'll need something approaching a miracle not to lose this one. Here's Joey O'Brien for them. Fletcher wins it back for United. Vidic. Who really enjoyed his physical battle with Davis in that first 45 minutes. Sahar going on to this ball as Bolton were rather slow to react. Tevez comes in, it was a thundering challenge on him, and it's left he and Steinson injured. Well, I'll tell you, I wouldn't mind another look at that. I don't know if Steinson's a little bit high with us, where he just rolls the ball on Tevez. Not the offside there, they're just getting a pickle of two centre-backs. They basically sort it out a little bit, but as that just breaks away from him there, I'll tell you what, watch Steinson there. Just rolls the ball and catches Tevez. He got a whack there when he came in that collision with uh, Saha and Andy O'Brien. And he's a big hard lad, Steinson, and they're going to have to defend the free kick without him. Well, I was going to say something stupid and say this is probably where it's more difficult when you adopt uh, the way he does, when he smashes the ball to get it up and down so quickly. I just wonder whether Hardgreaves would have a little look at this. I think he did, where was it, Fulham recently? When Hargreaves just bent one in from this kind of art area, but it looks like the main man's looking for his hat trick. Oh, oh well, that almost caught everyone by surprise. It's a top save. And it was from Nanny. Well, we're all waiting on him, we all were. But Nanny just takes two steps and it goes round the wall. It's a pretty good save in the end. He just shifts to his right a little bit, the goalkeeper, Al Habsi. But he gets himself back. Al Habsi, perhaps the only man who was alive to the possibilities then. Well, that was a good decision. You know, you talk about Ronaldo, I think the nearer it gets the goal, then the less effective that smash shot becomes from the free kick. Taylor lining up the free kick for Bolton at the other end, and Bolton still down to 10. Steinson receiving treatment as Taylor's driven shot is picked up by Nanny. Well, that was hugely ambitious. He could only have been catching the goalkeeper by surprise. There's Tevez, and he finds Ronaldo, who in turn flicks it through to Hargreaves. Off Taylor, it's only a throw, no corner. And Steinson back on now, he's had to change his shirt because he had uh, blood on his original jersey, which now uh, is on the touchline, and he has one without a number on. Taylor's got a problem. Yeah, I think it was when he maybe when he went to ground when he took his free kick and then he tried to retrieve the situation. Cleared by Gardner, but not uh, terribly well. Juve just about got it uh, away from danger. Guthrie trying to lay it down the line to Taylor. Ronaldo dispossessed for once. Davis, Taylor. 
Here's Gardner. That's a good ball for Guthrie. Taylor. Only Davis in an advanced position at the moment for Bolton. Short to Jew. O'Brien. Oh, too much of a touch that. Never catching that one. Well, he's been in this situation before, of course, Gary Megson. He was at West Bromwich Albion when they uh, fought a long relegation battle and successfully in the end. We've well, got some tough away games coming up. I think they play Chelsea. Chelsea away, is it? Tottenham away, Villa away. And the final day will be at Stamford Bridge. Oh. <laughs> Gardner. Fletcher onto Ronaldo. Oh, what a lovely ball and a good interception by Hunt. Nearly, nearly. Fraction more pace in the ball. Might have just got past Hunt. Nani's in. That's the ball. Great ball from Hunt to Taylor. Kept in by Gardner. O'Brien. Juf. McCann. Loose from uh, Hunt this time, having produced a lovely ball only seconds earlier. But McCann picks up the loose ball for Bolton here. Taylor. Looking for Juf. Easy for Vidic though. Here's Juf again. Well, just look down below me, we and Rooney having a little trot down the touchline, don't know if that's. Something that's going to happen imminently. Meanwhile, Guthrie for Bolton. O'Brien. Davis. And he has been the one man who's looked capable of getting Bolton back into this game, if anyone can. Gardner and Tevez collide. Brian in again. Well, I'm just thinking, I wonder if that's another bit of blood around, is it? In Vidic. Yep, the referee uh, applying the laws. They'll have to go off, and presumably he too will have to change his jersey now. Been a big success, of course, Vidic in his two years. Yeah, he has. I agree with you. That was exactly what we were looking for. Roche has moved into the centre to uh, fill Vidic's place temporarily. Well, they wanted to go back on Vidic, but the fourth official just making him change that shot. Fletcher. Sahar unmarked on the right. Hargreaves on to Nanny. It's good link up play between those two. And Nanny digs out the cross. One out. I suppose Bolton's only hope is that Manchester United begin to lose a little concentration and focus here. It's always a danger. 
don't think it'll happen. I mean, we're getting that close. They know it, those players. Well, the referee sees that and probably have to go and tidy it up again. But they're that close to the, the end and they've just not edged in front, having chased Arsenal for a lot of this season, United, and no, I don't think we'll get sloppy tonight. Steinson. Just to spice it up a bit, so Alex just might put on Rooney for half an hour. <laughs> and I've no doubt all the big guns will be rolled out here on Sunday for the visit of Liverpool. That was a little clumsy from PK, yeah. Now this is in a better area for Taylor if he wants to strike this one with his left foot. And apart from that first half save from Kevin Davies, and a good save it was too, Kuschak hasn't had much to do tonight. Will he get his fingers warmed here, I wonder? Mm. It's Juve in the end! Oh! No, it's a brilliant free kick. But Alan Wiley had walked away from the ball, holding his whistle up. I have to defend him here, the referee. When he was talking to Taylor, he walked away to do the wall, said whistle, he put it up in the air, and he said, you take the free kick on the whistle, and not before. It's a brilliant free kick. Surprise, but referee's right. And no real protest from Bolton, they obviously accept the situation. Jack very relieved though. Free kick mark two coming up. Nearly produced a repeat performance. Yeah, I think you might have expected that, Cusack. Well, this is what happens. You see, there he tells the wall, it's the whistle. You know, that's quite clear, quite plain. Manchester United know then that the free kick shouldn't be taken and won't be taken legally until Alan Wiley's got the wall back and blown his whistle. You see Matt Taylor saying no, no. No, see Matt Taylor, Matt Taylor going no. Long, long time getting that wall organised, and then eventually... It's a brilliant free kick, but... Nah, I think you saw it coming, don't you? Yeah, we've seen the dress rehearsal. Away by Steinson. Back in from Nani. Ronaldo. United still down to ten, incidentally. Vidic uh, having treatment on that facial injury still. As O'Shea threads it through to Nani. One back by Steinson. Here's Gardner. Well, we're not far short of the hour mark, and the scoreline still suggests that Bolton might have a glimmer of hope here. Taylor. Away by PK. Taylor gets a second opportunity and finds Gardner. Here's Davis. We're just having trouble stemming the blood coming from Vidic's nose, that's the problem. He's, he won't be allowed to come on if that nose doesn't stop bleeding and they don't pack it with something. And so Alex might be forced into a change now as Taylor takes it forward and drives it in. That's not the worst ball. I'm not so sure why Cusack's trying to get rid of that so quickly. They're down to ten men, they're under a little bit of pressure because of it. He gets the ball and he immediately clears it straight back to Bolton. And Davis coming in here, was he fouled? The referee says no. Well, Tib is coming back as a forward, a little clumsy. Gets close to him. You know, there's a little bit of contact. Doesn't need to be much to get a penalty. And we're disappointed Kevin Davis didn't get a hold of that, control it. But you've seen them giving. 
No, they're not letting it go on. The fourth official is saying no still. They have got uh, Wes Brown amongst their substitutes if he can't continue. Well, they're going to make a change. It is Wes Brown. Here's Juve. Disappointing, but uh, they're rather fortunate to keep possession despite that loose shot. Taylor's cross, Juve came in. What a good ball that was. Hunt smashes it back in. What a great effort that was. Change needs to be made and made quickly because this is the kind of pressure United don't need. Wes Brown is coming on now. This is a decent strike. He's lucky it's straight down his neck, Thomas Kuzak. A couple of yards either side of him, and it might have been different. He's only ever scored one goal for Bolton, Nicky Hunt, that was four years ago. McCann playing it back in, Davis has a header. Or O'Brien rather. Well, he might have been better keeping that back in play. Just confirming the substitution, Amanja Vidic replaced by Wes Brown. Well, quite simply, they just couldn't stop the nosebleed, it's as simple as that. That's a new one on, is it? There's Brown, who in fact has played more games than any other Manchester United player this season, somewhat surprisingly. And well gone, and if he was thinking of freshening things up, then that uh, decision was taken away from him by the problem with Vidic. Guthrie. Well, plenty of the ball, Bolton second half. O'Brien goes through two tackles and finds McCann, now on to Juf. And smash back in oh, again. Safe. That's a brilliant effort from Gavin McCann, it really was. He won't strike many better than this. This with his left foot as well, it just comes back to him quickly and he just takes a shot on. And that is a top, top save from Thomas Kuzak. Bolton are actually on top, if they can get a goal now, we could have a very interesting final half an hour here. And Chris Jack, to his relief, here's the whistle goal, free kick. And they go into traffic goalkeepers. Kevin Davis just up early and just puts the arm across the shoulder. It'd be interesting if he hadn't done that. But United need to get the ball again. They're out attempting Manchester United. Yes, that is astonishing, isn't it? And it seemed as though Sir Alex's team were coasting to victory when they got those two goals in the opening 20 minutes, but at the moment, Bolton are dictating possession here. Hunt, who's had one terrific effort. Chief will pursue that one with Wes Brown. Orthodox. He might have done better, Juve. He got there quicker, he might have made Wes Brown play it. Well, Danny Mexon's first win as Bolton manager was against Manchester United back in November. He's a former Manchester City player, of course. And he might be thinking now, well, we've got a, ha uh, we've got a chance here. Well, it's been a pretty ordinary second half for Manchester United up till now. But the two goal leads, you know, you're not quite sure just how much they're playing within themselves. Comfortable. Guthrie leaves it to Juve. McCann. Gardner. Taylor ahead of him. Haven't really got started Manchester United since the interval. PK's header has dropped straight to Guthrie. All well, the shots have been from long range, but they've all been useful. Yeah, it's just a little bit quiet, isn't it here? 
at the moment. Yeah. Apprehensive, perhaps. I just think it, it's one of, it is one of those situations that, you know, Sir Alex has made a whole wholesale changes. We've gotten a two-goal lead early on, and fairly comfortable with it. But I always think it's the Premier League, and doesn't care what matter whether you're, you know, at the bottom of it. If someone invites you back into a game, then you know you normally take it. And Bolton have done all right second half. And Thomas Kuzak's had to make a couple of pretty good saves to keep his side at 2-0. Well, what Manchester United don't want is a nervy ending to this night. Victory, remember, and they go three points ahead of Arsenal. They also have a superior goal difference to Arsene Wenger's team. Fletcher. Tevez. Hargreaves. Saha with a weak header. Anderson there to win it back for Manchester United, who seem to have settled into something of a comfort zone, really, since the first half. Well, Scholes and Rooney both out on the little jog. So Alex and Carlos Queiroz just having a little chat about what they might do. Again, it's Bolton forcing the issue with Al Hadj Juf. Totally outnumbered this time. Fletcher for United finds Ronaldo. Can he spark United and Old Trafford back to life? He very nearly did. Well, the answer is yes. <laughs> That's a fantastic piece of football. Tevez. Dangerous ball into the edge. And uh, due for the dangerous ball out. Got away with it, just. That was good football from Bolton. Confident football on the edge of their own box. But that's what you see Ronaldo do that. That's what I mean by teams get this team's got other gears to go to if they need them. Here's Taylor. Gardner overlapping. And that came off PK. Is Anderson. Oh, nearly a good ball. O'Brien intercepts. And the free kick's come against Bolton. Offside. Ronaldo. And off he goes again on another of those weaving runs. Tevez leaves it to Sahar. Well, he immediately holds the hamstring, which is not a good sign. Uh, oh, we'll see if it happens with that. This is a good chance. They'll work it well, they get plenty of players forward here. Could have kept the ball going to Nani, but he didn't. Decided to turn it out on his own. Nowhere near the goal. This is the one earlier, though. This is more like it. Invite the shot? I wouldn't. That's a pretty good save, you know, by Al Habsi because this is a great strike and it's dipping as it goes down there and that's a very good and very strong right hand the goalkeeper gets to that I'll keep your eye, I'll keep my eye on Saha you know, I'm just, I'm just feeling that right hamstring which is not a good sign looking up to the heavens as if to say please not again yes, he's missed so many matches in his uh, time here at Old Trafford through injuries, Louis Saha He's only started one Premier League game in the last three months. Well, Sir Alex has got Wayne Rooney ready to go on, so I wonder if it'll be for Saha. Seems to be struggling as McCann takes Bolton forward again. And scores it.
Henderson. Too much on that for Sahar, who can't run at the moment anyway, and knows that he's coming off any moment now, I suspect. Taylor's header finds Juve. Gardner. Foul by Steinson on Tevez. And the referee's calling him over, suggesting that he might well caution him here. Now, Bruce Hart is indeed the first player to be replaced by Wayne Rooney. Bolton won't want to see him. He scored five goals in his last two games against them. Anderson makes way for Paul Scholes, who ominously also has a very good scoring record against Bolton. <laughs> Twenty minutes to go. Will the uh, changes inject some life into a rather flat second half performance by Manchester United? Rudy. Taylor angles it to Juf, who gets away from Scholes. Never been the greatest tackler, has he, Paul Scholes? No. He's mastered most things in football, hasn't he? <laughs> yes, but not that. <laughs> well, it might be no laughing matter for Manchester United if Bolton can do something from their set piece. Hunt looking for Steinson. And the header almost dropped cunningly and has for Guthrie, but... Uh, He's a free sort of handball, yeah. Yeah, he just used his arm to control it. And that gives Manchester United the chance for one of their legendary fast counter-attacks, but Rooney's given it away. Yeah, it Guthrie. Like the early ball for Ronaldo there, but it might have been better just driving on with that for a few yards. Here's Hunt. Davis. Away by Brown. Only as far as O'Brien. Now McCann. Going to miss that first player. And off goes Cristiano Ronaldo again. That's a good ball. Rooney has Fletcher moving into the space. Back to Ronaldo. On to Nani. Tevez awaits the cross. time in the second half 70 odd thousand Manchester United fans make their voices heard That's a really chance. almost got a touch there it's a chance for him head tight near post just missed it skulls here's O'Shea his uh, versatility valuable again for United tonight yeah, skulls. He's got skulls on and so Alex, I'm sure wouldn't have had to say him, but would have been saying, just listen, get the ball and let's just keep it, you'd have been saying. Tevez. And on to Ronaldo. Nicked away from him by McCann. Hunt keeps it in play for Bolton. Grand Slam Sunday, Sky Sports, exclusively live. Manchester United against Liverpool, we start at one. You can watch it too in high definition. And that is followed by Chelsea against Arsenal. Whatever plans you have, cancel them. Yeah. It's building up to a fantastic end to the season. And 
the referee saw that as a foul by McCann on Fletcher. I don't know, but I would guess that I can't remember too many times the, the big four, as we call them, have been this close together going into their last eight games. Here's Ronaldo. Oh, well, the luckily came back to Nani and uh, Tevez takes it off him. Hargreaves. Fletcher. Oh, a lovely bit of skill from Nani. smile at the end there again but like Tevez he's no intention of doing anything other than shooting there he was never quite balanced enough almost catches it with his toe in the end because he's leaning back and he's stretching to get there almost impossible to keep it down when you meet it like that final quarter of an hour Gardner. And PK in control of that situation. Tony is a tenth appearance this season, the young Spanish defender. Seven changes, remember, in the Manchester United lineup tonight from the victory at Derby at the weekend. And those changes will have been justified if United go on to win. They'll have uh, fresher players ready and waiting for Liverpool here on Sunday. Why, who are Liverpool playing tonight? Pardon? Well, they'll be fresher. Liverpool never played like, since the weekend. Fresher than they would have been had they played tonight. Yeah, well, not fresher than Liverpool's. Stoles. Here's Rooney. McCann has plenty of choices here. They've got four, five men forward. Juve. Taylor. Guthrie slides it into the path of Hunt. I assume that was meant to be a cross. Yeah, just a little too close, obviously, to the goalkeeper. Well, they're the guys that will come into the manager's thoughts for Sunday's match. Amongst others, of course. Yeah. Well, they had that little spell, didn't they, Bolton, when United had trouble with Vidic, trying to stem the blood, and uh, they were down to ten men for about five minutes or so, maybe a little more. And they had a little bit of pressure, Bolton, and just for a sec, they looked like they might get something. And that's just frittered away. United back in control of the game. And can they get the third goal that would kill it off completely? Here's Rooney. Ronaldo. Mm, did his best to keep it in play, but he's given it to Guthrie. Davis. Now O'Brien. Fletcher. I just wonder if Bolton were ever convinced that despite their improvement in the second half that they really could get back into this game. Tevez, Rooney, Ronaldo. Going for the hat-trick and it's come to Nani. Good save. Good save again. He's done well tonight. I know the lads are a little critical in the studio. Of maybe he should have done better with Ronaldo's free kick but since then he's had to make one or two pretty good saves. Because he feeds that round Ricardo Gardner. Couldn't have seen it till pretty late. He's looked all right, him. Al Habsi. 
He's a very unusual character, the first player from the uh, Arab country of Oman ever to play professional football in Europe, not just in the English Premier League. Oh, brilliant from Nani. And they're queuing up for the cross, but Al Habsi's dealt with that as well. Well, the prospect was exquisite, wasn't it? Just doesn't get it, Taylor, and he comes and closes him down. He thinks, I've got you. But no, you haven't. You know, any prize off the top shelf for the nutmeg? Ronaldo injured, and of course, Manchester United have used all their substitutes. It's a bit of a surprise, I guess, that he's still out there at this stage, but the uh, changes didn't involve him. Well, it gets away from him, the ball. Yeah, he gets caught, but there's nothing wrong with that tackle from Nicky Hunt. And that's always a danger, that's why I wonder, that's why I posed the question with the said, Alex, keep him on for the whole game. He has no option now. We're into the final ten minutes at Old Trafford, and it seems to be heading to what seemed an inevitable conclusion when Manchester United swept into a two-goal lead early on. Hasn't quite worked out that way in the second half, but the end result might be what United were looking for anyway. Skulls, back to Tevez. the whistle and he wasn't disappointed Chiefs foul on Scholes and Ronaldo sprints over change on the way Danny Guthrie being replaced here by Stelios Giannakopoulos who made his debut for Bolton on this ground some five years ago now he's uh, pretty much on the fringe of the first team these days PK. Nani's little flick uh, caught Ronaldo by surprise. Cleared by O'Brien. Juice header on to Davis. So good at holding the ball up with his back to goal. Hunt. Janakopoulos. Neat and tidy football from Bolton, but it's not really hurting United. Gardner brought down. Now we've got a chance to get the ball in the box. Steinson and uh, Andy O'Brien making their way forward. Davis a constant threat as well. Juve will take it. And Kuszczak. Not very convincing. This fella might be now, though. Nani. Rooney making ground down the left. Oh, oh he's got to play when he back in. Yeah. You know, some, I just think some players at times, you know, they get so self-obsessed with trying to score themselves. There's no I in team. And Rooney wins that head, and watch where you see him next. Plays him in here, and then Ronaldo comes comes towards him, and a look at the gap, Rooney. Just roll him in, nice, simple, easy, tidy ball. Roll him in, he's your teammate, and he'll just finish the game off. But now, you know, people say goal scorers need to be like, yeah, you know, I wouldn't put Nani in that category as a goal scorer. I just think that seeing things. PK. Looks for Rooney and finds him. Wasn't an easy ball, though, for Wayne Rooney to control. He says that was handball, and the linesman has agreed.
Just kept in by O'Shea. Skulls. Hargreaves. Hell had due for Bolton. Have they got one uh, final flurry in them? Manchester United, I suppose you'd say, have just done enough tonight, really. Yeah, I think since the second goal went in, they've played within themselves. For the majority, they've been controlled and in control. Juve threading it through for Davis, but uh, Brown nicked it away, and now O'Shea. Ronaldo sets off for that uh, burst of speed and keeps going, but Tevez, best place to score. Well, it's between Tevez and Nani, they had so many opportunities each other. That's what I mean about spotting somebody. What a ball that is from Rooney. Touch isn't great, gets away from him a little bit, but just carves it wide. Not a great effort from Carlos Tevez. There's Taylor. Janakopoulos. Duf. Four men forward here for Bolton. And Duf gets around the first challenge and then rather greedily wastes the opportunity. Acknowledging that, I think. attempts in this game but the uh, first two goals both coming in the opening 20 minutes both scored by Cristiano Ronaldo now there by McCann Tevez Giannacopoulos hemmed in and Tevez won't let him uh, escape easily up bringing him down. Bit of frustration, I think, for Tevez. And over the years, Manchester United have scored so many late goals on this ground. Can Bolton turn the tables on them here? They might yet. Taylor had a wonderful opportunity. Well, Kevin Davis was getting pulled all over the place. He was backing in, being his usual nuisance self, as he is from free kicks like this. John O'Shea there getting tired, just dragging him to the ground. And, well, it's a very, very good chance from Matty Taylor. Might have been a too little, too late. But he didn't enjoy it. Could have sneaked it in. And uh, a few of those United fans heading for the exits might have turned round and come back again. So it looks as though this much-changed Manchester United team have done the business, won another game, and taken them three points clear of Arsenal at the top of the Premier League table. Yeah, I mean, it's always a gamble, it's always a risk when you make that many changes. Sir Alex would have known that. But uh, I have to be honest that from 20 minutes on, this has been one of those games that's been pretty much done and dusted. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing how they can get away with that next to the goal line, isn't it? Anywhere else the pitch would be I know, he knew exactly it? what he was doing, didn't yeah. he? Well, he wasn't trying to play the ball. Gets himself here, and then I'll just have Nani then, just take him out of the way, look. <laughs> uh. Well, we'll bolt and get one last chance here as we move towards the final minute. Probably be quite a bit of stoppage time with uh, those uh, injuries. Steinson and Vidic and a number of substitutions. 
Hunt plays it in. Davis might have got a little push there and it's come through anyway. But the uh, push was obviously by a Bolton player. Free kick to United. Well, it's been given against Matty Taylor for pushing. Ronaldo finds Rooney. Who returns the favour. Hargreaves. Paul Scholes. Rooney. Here's Jew. Only three minutes. Three minutes at a time. And both teams now pretty much going through the motions, really. Here's Janikopoulos to O'Brien. Juf. Hunt was trying to sneak in behind O'Shea. Battling for every ball still. Doesn't matter whether it's the first minute or the 90th with him, that's his game. Davis. Here's Juve. Good turn by O'Brien. But the ball in was dealt with by Wes Brown. Well, of course, Bolton came here hoping they could spring a shock result, but I'm sure they've looked at their remaining fixtures as uh, more viable in terms of taking the points they're going to need to get out of trouble at the bottom. Well, Gary Megson was down the, tun down the tunnel there, and he was very upset with the, the goal being disallowed. He was asking what was the problem. Well, the problem is that there, I guess. It really is not an awful lot at all. It was a very generous decision from Alan Wiley. So Bolton have had the ball in Manchester United's net twice in this second half, and neither counted. And wouldn't it just be like United now, as the seconds tick away, to go and finish it off with a third? A low-key second half, in all honesty, at Old Trafford, but as we said before, Manchester United have done enough. Here's Hunt, who had one stinging effort from outside the box. O'Brien. games left for Manchester United to retain their title. Eight games left for Bolton Wanderers to escape the threat of relegation. The expected home win for Sir Alex Ferguson's team tonight. The expected goals, if you like, from Cristiano Ronaldo. Two of them taking his total for the season to 33, remarkably in all competitions, outdoing even the great George Best from 40 years ago. Manchester United open up a three-point gap over Arsenal at the top of the table and now look forward to the visit of Liverpool here at the weekend. Bolton Wanderers have to knuckle down and keep on scrapping. It's finished, Manchester United 2, Bolton Wanderers 0. We have incidentally been keeping up White Hart Lane tonight. Nearly everything. There's been a quite stunning finish there. We've got extended highlights on the way. Goals galore and a football match that you will not want to miss is on the way.
Uh, what about the football this weekend? Well, Friday, Charlton play West Brom at half past four. Saturday, Spurs back in action against Portsmouth at 12.30. And Leeds play Walsall, two teams pushing hard for playoff places at quarter past five. All those matches on Sky Sports 1, all available in high definition on Channel 408. Grand Slam Sunday looks like this. First up, it's Manchester United and Liverpool at one. Chelsea play Arsenal at half past three. And tonight, live, we have tennis from Indian Wells. Andy Murray back in action, this time against Tommy Haas. That's at 10 on Sky Sports 2, so we're not too far away. Ray Wilkins and Jamie Redknapp, their thoughts. We'll name the man of the match and uh, very shortly we'll be off to White Hart Lane for a dramatic night there. But for Sir Alex Ferguson and Manchester United, that's a three-point lead over Arsenal now. That's a good night's work from their point of view.